I don't have time to paint. I don't have time to blah blah blah. I don't, there is so much to do. I got so much to do. Oh my God, I'm an artist. I got all this, and I'm consumed by all these ideas. <laughs> That's most of us, come on. Let's be realistic. Here's the thing, guys. If you're using those, ex those excuses, I got so much to do. I got very little time. Um, I got all these ideas that are consuming me, consuming me. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm so creative. Now I ain't trying to I, I ain't trying to offend anyone. I'm just laughing at the fact that, that we tend to do this kind of stuff. I I know I am very guilty of that stuff. So that's why I get to I get to say it with a lot of fun, okay? With so much um gusto. <laughs> Look guys, if you notice every time we use those those uh those 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 statements, we're talking about shortages. And this is something that I, I learned from Grant Cardone. He's a sales expert. He's one of the, th the, the very first things that I learned is we speak in shortages. We talk about shortages. And when we do that, we're not empowered. When we say, oh, I don't, I, I, I don't have enough time. What is that implying? There is a shortage of time. I don't have, there's so much to do. When there is so much to do, there's little of what? Because there couldn't be so much to do if you have so much space or time to do it in, right? So you're still talking about a shortage, even though you're referring, you're flipping it, you're saying there's so much to do. I got so much to do. And in, in what? In little time, in little effort, in little focus, in what? You got all of this to do, and you gotta put it in what? In a little basket? Is that, is that the problem? Okay, it, it, it's all shortages. Guys, we need to switch our mindset. We need to, for me, it was, uh, it was really a, a, a it was mind-blowing when I got to understand for the very first time that I spoke in shortages and that, and that I wanted to get all these things done and I wanted to create this, this, uh, this, this, you know, I wanted to go embark on this journey as an artist and be the best artist I can be in myself, right? Success for me, right? Not for someone else. Success for me, uh, because success is, 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 uh, is personal. Everybody has, you know, it's subjective. Everybody has their own idea of success. However, as I mentioned in other videos, your idea of success, even if it's completely different, there's still something, right, that needs to be accomplished. It's a point A to point B, whether, whether your success is just learning how to paint or becoming the next Chuck Close, it's still from point A to point B. So don't kid yourself. There is a point A to point B. It doesn't matter if your success is just painting on the weekends or uh, having your show at the, I don't know, putting your work at the Met or whatever. I don't know, Guggenheim, Guggenheim or whatever, okay? It doesn't matter. It's point A to point B either way. So when we use the shortages, we are really, what we're, we're telling ourselves is there is no way we can accomplish this. We're, we're, Creating statements over and over. There is no way I can accomplish this. There's just so much to do. I don't have enough time. So if you don't have resources, what are you telling yourself? You're telling yourself, I don't have resources to create this, to embark on this journey or to complete this journey. I do not have resources. It's like uh, going on a boat, going and, and sailing across the ocean and telling yourself, I don't have enough crew. I don't have enough food. I don't have enough, then you're gonna, you're gonna die. You know, you're gonna die in the, in the middle of the ocean or maybe right before you leave because you don't, you're telling yourself you don't have resources. Now, is this true? No, it's not true. I'm sorry to tell you guys this. This is not true. Yes, I understand that we want resources and we need this and we need that and we need all of these things, but look, if you are working on something, chances are, you know, if, if God willing, you have energy and you have the, 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 yeah, the energy you need to get the ball rolling, right? Or you can, or you can uh, uh, get other people to help you, other energy to help you, right? It, 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 it will come down to commitment, you guys. Every time we use 
these statements, we're telling ourselves, I will not commit to this. So pay attention. Next time you tell yourself, I don't have enough time, there's so much to do, you're actually telling yourself, I will not commit to me being an artist, to my career, to my vision as an artist. I am not committing to this because I don't have resources. Flip it. Tell yourself there's always enough time. There's, there's, yes, there's a lot to do, but I can get it done. I'm good at it. I am the man or the woman or, you know, whatever. I am. Okay? So, I'll leave you with that. The name is Jose Trujillo. One hell of an artist. Bam! Take care. Bye-bye.